Um, right, folks. Another alcoholic beverage review. What's happening is I'm actually going and buying these beers because I do like reviewing a beer. I like reviewing the food as well and all of it. Uh, but there's some really good ales out there at the moment, and uh, the pale ales and all that. And, and uh, if you've seen me with Simon on Real Ale Craft Beer, me and him every so often have now started to get together and we go live on his channel uh, to help him get viewers and subscribers on his channel uh, and to help me get subscribers on Twitter and Instagram and all that. So we're trying to, we're, twying, uh, we're working hand in hand in this kind of thing to help each other along, and it's really good. Um, so what I've done, folks, is I, I, to, uh, there's loads of beers out there. I've started really enjoying uh, trying these different beers. It's educational as well, and I want to, I mean, obviously, you can't educate people on beer as such. But what I, what me and Simon try to do is actually bring uh, people out of the um, the lager drink, the cider drink, your standard uh, your Carlins and your bloody Heinekens and all that kind of stuff and your Fosters and your dry Blackthorns and your Strongbows and just try to make people educate, not educate, but bring into them that there is other companies out there that are working really, really hard to give us beers and ciders and drinks that uh, are there to be enjoyed. So it's just basically just try and help everybody i'm do apologize for the lighting i've just said on the video before i've got a new camera now i've just downloaded one for well i'm going to download one for two uh, blue Bad man 2.0 in a bit and if i can get that right then i'll be back and i'll be in a proper camera um so well that ain't gonna matter because i release them one a day don't i so it, uh, i'll just shut up uh so what it is, we're just trying to encourage people to try these other beers and these other breweries to, you know, to get these little ones along, you know, to keep them going. Because if you lose them, then we're going to be knackered and we're all have to drink Carlin or bloody Foster's and all that bloody pissy beer, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes I like, there's nothing more than I do like to do is just get a can of Carlin and down it in one. But... You've got to try these other ones, folks. So what I've done now is I've picked up a St. Peter's Golden Ale. Uh, it's from the St. Peter's Brewery, obviously. It's an uh, alcoholic volume. is 4.7, and it's 500 milliliter bottle. St. Peter's Brewery, St. Peter's Hall, near Burgundy, Bungay. Burgundy, I don't know why I say that, but Burgundy. Uh, but, oh, you may have said it again. Bungay in Suffolk, UK. Um, we go out on holiday to that area of Suffolk and Norfolk. We love it out there. It's really good. If you've never been out to Norfolk and Suffolk, you've got to try it because it, the, the ground's flat and it's just, the the well, everywhere in England's nice, isn't it? If you go to the right places, everywhere in England is nice. I mean, I live in Loughborough, uh, near Loughborough, and the, the stunning countryside around here, and you think to yourself, why do we go, you know, why do we go to Norfolk and that? But you've got to see everywhere in the country. Um, and it's really great and out this way at Bungay it's it's really nice as well so uh it's an english pale malt uh, golden ale right it's english pale malts coupled with challenger and golden hops provide the bitterness and the aroma this result is a highly distinctive light golden ale with caramel aromas a pleasing toffee apple flavor and late bitterness what's late bitterness is that when you're drinking it and also you get oh that's a bit bitter at the end is that that's a bit bitter i can taste a bit bitter there um ba -ba -ba it's, it's got all the labels of every country it just goes out to everywhere poland russia uh, for, uh oh, dk that's denmark in it fi is that where the hell's fi uh netherlands italia espana se what's that what's se slovakia i don't know uh fr's france russia that's ru because it's the russian union into it or whatever gr that's greece into it de that's germany into it is de germany deutschland deutschland yeah. uh, so anyway it's, it's a well-traveled beer folks it seems to be getting out and about there and uh, I'm going to try it today, and I'm going to give you my personal information of what I acquaint of this uh, super little beer. Oh, smells like a good... That smells like an... When I used to go around with my uh, elder generation of my family, uh, we used to go to a place in Colville, Colville Working Men's Club, or the Labour Club, or whatever, the Kremlin, or so. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. 
can't remember, opposite St Winifred's Church, where I was baptised, which didn't amount to much, to be fair. Me being baptised, I'm surprised the damn place didn't fall down. If God knew what I was going to turn out to be, it had just like the doors. It would have been something like the Omen where the doors just shut solid and they want to let me in uh, because I have no interest in religion whatsoever. Well, anyway, as I used to go drown drinking with the family when I was about, you know, just hitting me uh, the late tens and into my teens, we used to go down there and... Uh, I used to like go around sniffing the beers and stuff. Did I say sniffing or sipping? And um, it used to be all right. Trying all these different beers. All right. For the visually impaired, I just had one sip, and I'm just uh, trying to uh, evaluate what I think of it. That's a very nice beer, to be fair. It's not um, my favourite beer. It's not the best beer I've ever had uh, while I've been um, doing these Blue Van Man reviews, and um, that, I quite like that. There is a bitterness at the end, I must admit. It's got a... Do you know what it tastes of? Unless she's going to sound absolutely ridiculous. It tastes of beer. It just tastes of beer. You sip it. It's nice and refreshing. As it's going down, you get a bit of a bitterness at the end of it going down. Which is nice because when you first started, when I first started drinking beer, when I was, it was one of them things where my mum used to have a double diamond and uh, my mum used to work from home. She used to pull socks. They used to come off this bloody thing and she used to separate the socks. It's what women did in them days. My dad used to go out here with a carpenter and join her. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, my mum used to pull socks. They used to come out in a massive tube and she used to have to pull them and, and then turn them inside out something. And then they get sent off again up to the road. Uh, to the factory and joined up again and um, that's what she used to do she used to sit there on a Sunday we used to watch like the Royal uh, London Palladium and uh, Bergerac and uh, other things like that uh, Shelley and uh, Bob's Golden Shot that were all right and Celebrity Squares and all that kind of stuff all that shite that's making a comeback now on Channel 5 because they think they can bring it back and make millions of pounds out of it. But well, they can't because it's, that was the day was when it was in. And um, my mum used to let me have half a can of Double Diamond. Uh, at the beginning, it was a Shande. We used to have a, she used to let me have half a can of Double Diamond and uh, top it up with uh, lemonade to make it a Shande. Then I got to about 11 or something. Then I started to have beer, proper beer on its own. A uh, bottle of Pedigree. Loved a bottle of Pedigree. a packet of crisps and I used to just sit there and I'm quite happy and I used to think I'm all grown up and uh, this is what it tastes like this is when you first drink a beer when you're a kid you think oh god I don't like that well then like you have another one you think yeah that ain't too bad and this is what that is like this is just like a beer it just tastes of beer it's got no fancy frills no no stupid aromas no nothing like that it just smells of beer it tastes like beer it looks like beer it goes down like beer and it's great it's absolutely nice i should have done this live shouldn't i, I should have gone bloody live bugger i should have gone live i will do one i'll go live with another beer i'll do it on my own and go live shall we see what june thinks June, yeah. would you like to try this other beer? What's it? What's it? It's uh, St. Peter's Golden Ale. It's not a golden shower, it's a golden ale. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. It just tastes of beer to me. That was like lager. Lager. Mm. What do you think, June? Is it for you or is it not for you? It is for me because it tastes like lager to me. All oh, right, that's Quite good. Quite a then. weak, 
a week lager. It just yeah. tastes of beer. It's like double diamond when I used to start. Oh, it's before my time. Before you. I thought, you mean about the fucking same age as me, you daft mare. <sighs> We're both bloody 50. What the fuck is he on about? It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's it's just a nice beer. And if the wife likes it, that also means it just tastes of beer. Because my missus is a bit... She's a bit to fancy about what she drinks she don't like someone she does like someone it's um you know it's, it's it's hard work sometimes trying to find something that she likes you know you may as well i may as well just bang me head through that breeze block you know what i mean but uh, this is very nice very nice i wish i'd have done this live would you like me to do more live reviews I did the ham sandwich the other day, but what I want to do is when I do a live review, I only want it to be that. I don't want it to go on for an hour. Um, tell me if you want me to go live. Tell me if you want a questions and answers situation. Don't give me stupid questions because I won't answer things like, have I got a foreskin or things like that? Uh, have I got a nipple pierced? It's It ain't going to happen. But I have and I haven't. So you ain't got to ask, ask that one now anymore. Um, yeah, all right, folks, if you want me to, I can't. Well, you see, I quite like sitting here just talking complete rubbish to you lot. It's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just like it. It's just good. Well, got to sort out a date uh, to go over Unky Steve's and have a few beers as well. Um, I've got to sort it out when the wife's off as well, you see, because obviously... Me being the good little boy I am, I won't go out there and uh, have a few beers and drive back because it's against the law. When you think about it, it's not against the law, is it? It's just illegal. It's just against the law to get caught. So, just joking. Obviously, you don't drink and drive. So, I need to sort out a time when the wife, June, is off and we can go over to Unky Steve's and uh, get some beers and have a drink and give a review on them. And uh, that's it. But, uh, I am pop. I'm hoping to pop over Unky Steve's this week. Did you hear that, Unky Steve? Um, I'm hoping to pop over to you this week, probably Thursday. And Auntie Sue, uh, I've got to find something for us to review though, um, sort of like a pot noodle. I oh, wonder what's at Morrison's. That is really nice, right, folks? I am going to leave that there, and I will be in touch soon. Happy days. Hope you enjoy that. Chat soon. Later.